if I say divide 25 by 2, what will you tell me is the output? Ah, 12.5. Very good. Yes or no? Which means if I divide 25 by 2, the quotient is 12.5. Very good. Now watch it. I am going to my program and in my editor, see here, int a equal to 25, I will tell. I am storing 25 inside a. Next line, int b equal to 2, I will tell. 2. Next line, see here, I will take a, divide it slash by b. Whatever is the quotient, I will store it, assign it. Ah, I will assign it to whom, sir? C. And obviously, C also I will tell is of type integer like this I will tell. Clear? Now, in the next line, I will tell system.out.println and I will print the value of C. I will just print the value of C. Now, I want everyone to observe. If in case, I just go and compile this program. <coughs> I am just compiling it. If I compile my program, really there is no issues. If I execute it, observe, huh. what did you get? 12. But what should have been the answer? 12.5. What happened? Ah, very good. Immediately some of you will be like, sir, answer is 12.5, but you stored it inside int. And tell me, can int store decimal part? No. So, you are like, sir, because integer cannot store decimal part, this 0.5 was lost. Correct? 0.5 was lost. So, now, if that is the case, if I want 0.5, see what I will do. Instead of int, I will make it as float, because float means real numbers. Real numbers can store decimal part. Okay. Now, according to you, if this is the logic, then watch it. If I clear the screen and if I compile it, no issues. If I execute it, what is the answer? 12.0. Even now 0.5 is lost. I hope you will understand. Uh, sir, what happened, sir? Does Java not know mathematics, you may ask. No, no, no. That is not the problem. Try to understand. Guys, what is A integer? What is B integer a divided by b means integer divided by integer listen to me carefully in java remove this whenever you perform an integer divided by another integer the answer is always another integer this if this is true then 25 is an integer 2 is an integer and hence the result will not be 12.5. It will be 12 and this 0.5 will be removed. This concept is technically called as truncation. What is it called as? Truncation. Truncation means removing the decimal part. Or one more word they use. It is called as rounding towards 0. What is it called as? Rounding towards 0. No problem, sir. Because see, 12.5, you can round towards 13 or you can round towards 12. Rounding towards 12 is only called as rounding towards 0 because 0 is towards this side. Clear till here? My friends, this one fundamental concept if you do not know, you will not understand why your program is never giving the output you expected. Because you expected 12.5, but what you got was 12. But some of you will be like, but sir, I want 12.5, sir, what to do? Uh, if you want 12.5, easy, watch it, I will go here. One change I will do. Integer by integer is another integer. But integer divided by float is not an integer. Float divided by float is not an integer. I hope you will understand. Which means you have one option. Either convert A to float or B to float or make both as float. Up to you. Watch it. 
I will make A also as float. I will make B also as float. Clear till here? Now, float means 25, I will not tell. 25.0. Very good. 0. Uh, should I stop here or should I attach something? Uh, very good. Because you know automatically in Java, real numbers are treated as double. But we want it to be treated as float. So, put F. Similarly, 2.0 F I will tell. Now, float by float, result is another float, which means watch it. If in case I go here and, oh sorry, if in case I now just compile it, no issues. If I execute it, 100 percent you got 12.5. So, do you see? If fundamental concepts about data types is not clear, you will never be able to get the right output. You should be very careful.